Hello, this is Chris Menard. I read an article recently that said, here's how much you need to invest to retire with a million dollars in just 20 years. And so I was looking through the article and I'll post this in my YouTube description if you're interested in the article. But what caught my eye is they did a 4% return, 6% and 8% and they told you how much you need to invest every month. And the first thing I thought was, I'll never so I'm gonna crank up Excel and basically I just copied what they said in those three bullets. 4% is 2,717, 6% and 8%. I plugged them in right here. There are percentages in row one. There's the 20 years in row two. And there are the amounts from the article in row three. To make sure that they're right, we're going to use the future value function. But then I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you how much interest income you will make over 20 years at those investment amounts. So let's do the future value first. Equals FV for future value. There are five arguments in the future value function. The last two, PV and type, are optional. The first three are required arguments. What interest rate? 4%. I'm going to make that a monthly rate because we're investing monthly. Comma, how many periods? 20 years, B2, times 12 months in a year, comma, and how much money are you going to invest every month? At the 4% is B3. I made it negative B3, so it shows as a positive. I'm actually done right now, but I want to see what those two optional arguments are, so I'm going to do another comma. Present value, PV. It does not apply to this situation, so another comma, and finally type. Are you putting up the 2717 at the beginning of the period or the end? In this example, it's the number one. It is the beginning. So there is the future value function for the 4% at 20 years. That is close enough to a million. Crosshairs pull over to the right. Column C is our 6% 20 years and column D is 8%. I'm going to stick with this 8% right now. So there's your million bucks. There is your 1686 you got to put in there. I'm also going to figure out, because that's a pretty aggressive number to be investing every month, depending on what your monthly salary is. So I'm going to go figure out what your monthly gross would be, and then we'll figure out what your annual gross would be to do that. So in case you're wondering how much interest you'll earn over the 20 years, this is the beauty of compound interest. You invested, I'm going to stick with the 4% right now, and I'll pull it over, $27.17 a month, and you did that for 20 years, and there's 12 months in a year. So that's what you actually put in. So let's get the crosshairs and pull that over. So therefore, your interest income is the total future value minus what you put in there. Watch how much interest you earn at this 8%. This is amazing. So I'm going to do a little rounding. So almost 600000 By the way, that 8% right there, that is very doable. A lot of mutual funds that match the index fund or match the index, they get 8% or more. I want to look that up. That's not a problem. So at 8%, 20 years, you put in that amount, you're going to get almost $600,000 in interest income. So that's a pretty aggressive amount to invest depending on how much you make. So let's go take a look at what you need to make now. So I had, I figured, let's say you can do 20%. So that would be equals B3 divided by 0.2 or 0 0.20. That would be your monthly salary, 8,430 for 8%. Let's see what that is annually. You're just going to take the monthly amount and make it times 12. So the first two, you're making over $100,000. The third one, you're still making over $100,000, but you're just barely over it. Now, let's say you're thinking about this. Say, Chris, I don't make anywhere near that amount. Watch what happens when we go from 20 years. This is why it's so important to invest early. Watch what happens when I add on five more years. I'm going to change this to 25 years. 
Now we're over a million because I'm still saying we're putting in 16. Let's make it a thousand bucks. How about a thousand fifty? There we go. So now for 25 years, you're doing five years more. You're not putting in the 1686. You're only having to do a thousand fifty. But also look what your annual salary dropped down to. You only need to do. You only need to make roughly sixty-three thousand a year. Put away 20% for 25 years and you'll be a millionaire. Look how much interest you earn from the compounding. So anyway, a great article led me to this video. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful 4th of July.